Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to learn about the requirement reliability matrix. The requirement reliability matrix is one of the important concept that you need to learn as a software tester, QA tester, or any any kind of a engineer who works with software development lifecycle, which known as as DLC. All right. So in this in this video, we are going to learn what is it, why we should use it, and I'm going to share. one of the report as a sample template that uh, you can download and basically create or you can see how it works in action all right so let's get started with it all right so uh, these are the basically the code, basically the things that I, we are going to discuss about so before we start this session i would like to uh, tell you that uh, there is a api testing using postman series if you are interested in learning api testing go with it There are lots of automation mindset videos. We're definitely going to help you to convert yourself from manual to automation. Go with it. Uh, go to the playlist section of this channel, the, the Testing Academy, and you will can learn more about it. I have started a, a series of Cypress tutorial with the live projects uh, that we are where we will automating a React application, a Angular application. You can watch those tutorials also. All right. So uh, let's move back and let's start with the first concept. and uh, which is the traceability matrix okay so uh, if we go with the definition of wikipedia right and uh, let me read up for you it's uh, it's a, it says that it's a document used to assist in determining the completeness of the relation by correlating any two baseline documents using many to many relation comparison i know it's very hard to get what exactly it means by it, right what is traceability matrix means i don't understand why uh, reading the wikipedia but in a easy way it's just saying that it is used to track the requirement and check the current progress or current project requirements are met or not so we are basically checking uh, it, that uh, if the requirement that we have mentioned are uh, getting implemented or not right so we are noting down the progress Uh, that if we are noting down the progress in a particular matrix format that is uh, which i'm going to show you in a bit that is known as the traceability matrix right so the concept here is that uh, most of the people knows that rtm which it is basically requirement traceability matrix right so if we talk about the requirement tra uh, traceability matrix so it's uh, if we talk about it it's a simply a document that maps uh, that maps or traces the requirement with the test cases if we are talking here as a test cases right so your requirement are mapped to the test cases whatever the test cases that you have created so requirement can be a simple login scenario right and that include the number of test cases that are basically attached to it right so that if we are mapping into a grid format we are calling it as a rtm right so again we talk about requirement traceability matrix may be used to check if the current pro project requirements are being met or not means every kind of requirements are basically covered into your test cases or not that is what we are checking in the third point we have uh, they are mentioning that okay so with rtm it basically captures all the requirements and uh, basically these are the requirement which are proposed by client and which and which are basically available into a single you can say a document that we are going to prepare right and it can help you in creation of request for proposal software it uh, uh, it means is that if there is any kind of a change or any kind of a change in requirement we can uh, get the idea because that we can mention that okay there is a particular rpc which is request proposal or request for change rpc then that has to be mentioned into the rtm also right so how a typical uh, rtm looks like okay so let me zoom out a little bit i know it's a little blurry but you will have a sample of it so generally it contains like your requirements your test id or test case relationship okay and uh, i'm going to give you a practical example so let's uh, move back and if you are uh, get uh, if anyone ask you what is a rtm the simplest answer for this one is that to ensure the test coverage to ensure the test coverage the mapping of requirement with your test cases or is known as rtm or requirement traceability matrix okay so let's uh let's come to the point where we are basically are uh, discussing uh about the why we need requirement traceability right so uh as we have mentioned earlier that it's a great tool to link your requirement test case and defects in a single document right 
and it can provide a good coverage because you have you know what is the requirement and how many test cases are linked to it how many defects are linked to it you know your test coverage it can give a clear understanding of your test coverage so rtm is a good way or a single document that can help you in a longer run with rtm we can prevent that defect leaking right for example defect leaking is something like a concept where a particular feature or a requirement was not implemented or implemented in a wrong way because we haven't created the number of test cases and we haven't linked those test cases with the requirement and that causes a defect in the production right so that's what we can prevent by using the rtm right and uh, here the for the fourth point says that basically uh, it assures a good quality of application, right? If we are basically implementing or using RTM, it basically means that uh, we are basically uh, improving the quality of our product because all the requirements are getting implemented, all the implementation are tested by our test cases, all the defects are basically mentioned in the single document that are fixed, and we know everything about the document or uh, not document, everything about the product, what is implemented, what is not implemented, and it improves overall quality, right? So that is the more most important thing, right? To get to know about it, right? So uh, let's uh, let's come to a point where we are basically mentioning what are the major parameters, right? So uh, this is how a typical uh, requirement doc, uh, requirement document look like, right? So it contains a serial numbers. As you can see, let me pull up my marker. Uh, so it contains serial number, requirement ID, requirement descriptions, and we are here we have a test cases related information. We can have test case ID, description, designs, and some other parameters. These are some uh, parameters that you can change according to your product. product right. So uh, what we have is that here it basically mentioning that these this is a single requirement which is mapped to these test cases, right? So we have a single requirement with the three test cases. Okay, so if we have any kind of defect that you can mention here. So that is what an RTM look like, typical, typically, right? All right, so these are the major parameters. Uh, okay, so let me move back. And so this is another important concept, like what is for forward traceability, right? So whenever we talk about forward traceability, it basically means that we are just ensuring that uh, requirements are mapped to the test cases. So if we have a requirement and these are test cases, so there is a single, this forward relationship is there, right? Requirements are mapped to test cases. It means a forward traceability. And if test cases are mapped with requirements, so we reverse it, then it is known as backward, uh, back, backward traceability. So in the example, if you see, if we have requirement that is basically attached to the test cases. So in the parameter example that I have shown you, there here is a requirement and requirements are mapped to test cases, right? So this is a forward traceability example. Instead, if we have test cases return and we have a requirement basically mapped to it and in a reverse format, it's known as backward traceability. If we have a combination of it, right? Forward plus backward means we know both of the way, it is known as the bidirectional traceability, right? And trust me, guys, right, it's a great, or you can say good traceability matrix has a reference of both of the sites. It knows what is the test cases related to requirements and requirements related to the test cases. So it knows both of them, right? So all the test cases can be traced back to the requirement and those requirements have accurate information about it. And those requirements can be traced back to the test cases for them. So this is known as bidirectional traceability, right? So this was an ex uh, this was the types of uh, disabilities. Now we have some. Uh, so I'm going to mention a few of the sites that uh, have a great resource and I have used for it. And I basically uh, uh, basically these are the reference websites if you want to check it out. And this is the important point where you want to download this, right? You want to see how it's look like, right? So let me open it for you. And if you go to big.lay slash rtm hyphen template, it looks like this. So what you can do, you can do a click on the open in open in Chrome. So let me pull up myself here. So this is a sample looks like you can learn more about the testing academy here. So this is a typical example looks like where we have requirements, technical requirement, test case ID, and we can have more parameter here, which you can add, 
right? It depends on your project, like the fact cases you want to add or anything comments, anything related to it or assigning to a particular tester and something like this, these parameters that you can add here. Right. Similarly, I have added a simple template like we have a C1, C2, C4 requirement. Those are mapped to these test case IDs and test cases. So these are different test cases. Okay. So these are not 12, 12, 12. This is 12, 13, 14 different ones that you get the point. Right. So that's all about it. And uh, I hope you have learned about it. What is traceability matrix? And uh, I hope you will start implementing it in your uh, projects if you wanted to. Right. And uh, Thanks a lot for watching till now and if you want to download go to this link and i'll see you in the next video right thanks a lot have a nice day